Charlie, a young lad trying to hold on to a job. But alas, Charlie suffers from user interactivitis, a neurological disease which allows you to choose his words for him. And you know what that means? Charlie gets fired. Hello. Charlie, just stop it. You're embarrassing yourself. Oh, yeah, so sorry. No. No freaking w- Oh. That's why men are different than women! Thank you very much, you guys are great! Who's next? Are you next? What? Oh, no, I'm just, you know, watching the show. I don't have time for this. Get up there, we're losing the audience. What? Oh, oh my god, no, I'm, I'm not a comedian! I just came here to watch the show! Say something funny! Tell us a joke! Get to the interaction point! Oh man, listen, I'm not a comedian, you know, I was just, you know, watching the- oh, no! I was in a horrific car accident last week. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Y you seem fine though. Ten trucks filled with acid crashed into me. Ten, ten trucks? What? And after that, a helicopter crashed directly into my face. I, I gotta say, you know, given the circumstances, you look fine. Do I look fine to you? Bill, you're overreacting again. No, Barbara, this funny man thinks he can just go up on stage and take a sh** on us disabled people. Disabled? You, you just have a band-aid on. And the doctor said I have to keep it on for a week. <laughs> Bill, Bill, oh what do heroes do? Oh. What do heroes do, Bill? They fight. <laughs> they fight, Bill. <laughs> they fight. Oh, God. Well, um, anyway, zombies. <laughs> what, um... What do you call a bee that is a zombie? A zombie! <laughs> Get it? Because... Okay, actually, it still sounds the same, but you spell it differently, so what? That's gotta count as a joke. That was terrible, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is happening? Hmm. This kid just made comedy his bitch. <laughs> Brilliant! Give us more! Oh, no, I'm sorry guys, you know, I, I'm glad you had a good time, but I'm not really a- ah! about the German language. <laughs> oh, that kid just went there, bought a sandwich, and never came back. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Oh, my God. Ninja Turtles! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Have you heard about them, folks? These are mutant turtles who are not only teenagers, but are also ninjas. Okay. Now, can you imagine the pitch for that show? Oh, uh, yes, I would like to do a show about gigantic reptiles who fight crime and eat pizza in the sewer. That's right, folks. Probably forgot about that little tidbit from the past. They ate pizza in the sewer. I barely eat pizza when it's served to me on a silver platter. Have you seen some of these pizza parlors in New York? You're better off eating pizza in the sewer. Handed to you by a giant rat who, for some reason, is wearing a robe. Thank you very much. I was Charlie. This kid is the Louis C.K. of our generation. That was quite a set you did there, boy. Oh, oh, oh thank you. I'm a very powerful agent in this industry, and I'm gonna make you a star. Oh, whoa, I can't believe it. Now let me ask you something. What are you doing tomorrow night? Today on our show, I, Stephen Colbert, totally voiced by me and not at all a bad impersonation of Stephen Colbert, will debut an up-and-coming comedian. Let's give a big hand to Charlie the Comedian. Hello, everybody. You know, it's good, good to be here. So, uh, first of all, let me ask you, what's the deal with... Let, let me try again. What's the deal with... What are you doing, Charlie? Se seriously? Nothing? Oh no! It's happening! Interactivity! Oh come on! Last week you made me shout Hitler in a funeral and know nothing? Go, stupid brain, go! Oh dear. No, wait! I can make this work! No! This 
sure is a very humiliating moment for both Charlie and me, the completely genuine and not at all a bad impersonation of Stephen Colbert. What the hell happened in there? Is that it? Am I finally cured? Excuse me, sir, you know where the bedroom is? Yeah, it's- <laughs> Well, excuse me, sir, but I am not going all the way to Copacabana just to use the bathroom facilities, sir. Oh, wait a sec. Are you joking? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, <laughs> you, sir, very funny man. Uh, too bad he wasn't this funny on stage. Gosh darn it. Well, Charbo, that was a disaster. What? But I killed him last night. You gotta give me another chance. No, Charbo. As a matter of fact, you did not kill it last night. But the people were laughing. Yes, apparently the only reason people were laughing was because they were heavily sedated after visiting the dentist. All of the people there were at the dentist before coming to the show? Yes. Did they all come as a group to see the show, or...? No. What, did the dentist, like, give them free tickets or something? No, they were all individual people from different parts of the country who just happened to get a root canal surgery and then went to see a comedy show. Yeah, see, it would have made a lot more sense, though, if they all came from the same... No. Y yeah, no, but it would have been, you know, more believable if they were. Yes, well, that's not what happened. Y yeah, I get it. It's just lazy. You know, it's all I'm saying. Well, Charbo, look on the bright side. You're still famous. What? Really? Apparently, your performance last night was so embarrassing, someone remixed it and it has over 20 billion hits. Oh man! Well, Charbo, you're a national joke. What do you have to say for yourself? I don't- oh, no! Suppose to know. Come on, I know you know the words. No. Come on, that something wasn't right here. <sighs> oh, baby, baby, I, I should not have let you go. Yeah! And now you're out of sight, yeah. Show, Show me, me how you want, want it to be. be. Tell, Tell me, baby, baby cause I need to know now. What? Because my loneliness is killing me. I must confess, I still believe, STILL BELIEVE! I'm sorry, did you want to do the high part? No. Uh, it's okay, we can go again. No, and if you'll tell anyone, I will kill you. Well, can't have a nice moment, can we? <laughs>